Caitlin Cronenberg. Canada is such a mix of people from so many different places bringing their own thing and then we sort of don't know what our own identity is because we have people from everywhere else. But I think it's, I mean, I can see up and coming Canadian stuff happening, like the music especially is like what's really making us known, like those Canadian bands that are becoming huge hits all over the world. And so, I don't know, books and movies and music all go together, so it shouldn't be long until that happens. I think it's definitely a good idea to make it more, like make people more aware of it, but it should be done in a way that doesn't make people think that Canadian books are the underdog. I don't know, as soon as you say, oh, you know, no one reads Canadian books, and then, come on, you can do it. Read Canadian books, support Canada stuff. Just makes you think, like, well, if no one's reading them. Maybe they're lame, and okay, I'll give it a chance, but I, it's like charity. Don't make it like charity. I feel like people will either feel that it's their duty to go out and support the things that come from where they come from, or they'll fight it and say, well, I don't need to like this, you know, my city is lame and I want to get out of here, so I'm not going to, you know, support what comes out of my city. I think it's either way. It depends on the person, because some people I know are really into Canadian film and they're really supportive of all of that, but some people are like, ugh, Canada's, you know, totally vanilla and I don't want any part of it, so I'm only going to buy stuff from other places. But I don't know if, if those people would be any less inclined to do that if the work coming out of their city was better or worse. I think it's just their personality. And I don't know if necessarily anything is going to be done to change that. It's too bad. Some people are lame. Most people are lame. <laughs> <laughs>